sweet Lord, I'm happy to be here. Is that uh, Sarah with an H? This is the first live I'm able to catch. I'm a little nervously excited, like I'm waiting for a concert to begin. Sarah with an H, I hate to, I hate to let you down, girl. Uh, I love your excitement, and I'm happy that you're here, but sweet Lord, uh, it ain't that cool, girl. Now, the chat's that cool. I'm not that cool. So how are my little mitten kittens? Where have you guys been? Speaking of mitten kittens, she says, I'm not over it, you being gone. Oh my God. Chaotic bleach. Oh, Nat Cat 180. Yes, Buffy Summers and Dawn and uh, Miss Christmas, tis I. And Gert. Uh, how are we? Hamima! Oh my word. I have missed the ever loving Addie Reese. Uh, Katie Fulton talks like that, and it might be the cutest thing I've ever heard. Look, my mouse is still broken. I'm so excited to be back home for this old thing. How are you? Ty's channel, Kestrel, Lavender Bridges, Tampa B, Chow Yun Smut, Make It Make Sense, Kim Hallman, Carrie B, EVM, Witchy Trista. That was kind of a fun roll call. Anita Card, Witness. Marion Calabro, Blakey, Rachel Harmon. I just opened, opened something from you. Rachel, I miss you, Big Z. Nearly Marie, Jojo L, Jilbo, Third Eye Open. Thanks for modding all the mods. Thank you for being here. Uh, Katie, I love you. I'm kind of pissed. I'm kind of pissed. I got my kimonos. The size small is pretty damn small. Ursina, Damsel Danny, Rachel Harmon. I didn't forget what I was going to say, just so you know. Canude, Mara. I love Mara. Clearly the children are not over my being gone. Shelly Kelly, I love Shelly Kelly. No, it's fine. Why would you think you're in the way? Of course you're not intruding or too much in my space. Hi, Ken. Now I don't have an arm to use the mouse at all. No big deal. No, not at all, kid. Why would you think you're in the way? Ken, I love you. Sandy, Wandy, I missed you. For heaven and grim. No, kid, it's okay. Come on back over this way. No big deal. We'll make room for you. <laughs> Keela, you guys, today is Keela's birthday and it's a big deal. She turns 40 today and we couldn't be more proud. Um, Keela, I will be 40 in July. So you're just right behind me and I love you so much. Happy birthday to Keela. Happy birthday to uh, Mare. If Mare is in here today, it's her birthday as well. Michelle, Yvonne, Linda G. I know, Susan P. Annika's mom. Amy Jo, Lumen, Ren B. I love the whole hair, glasses, turtleneck. Okay, with the red lip. Ren B, I was gonna text you about this. How do you guys feel about this frame? I picked it up from Costco today. We showed it last week. Most of you hated it. It's a men's frame, clearly. However, what did I say? I like to take men's inspired things and I like to um, jazz them up with some girliness. Little red lip, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Uh, how do we feel about it? It was Fred, Rachel Harmon. It was Fred. I opened a little, uh, little thing from you. Uh, who, uh, Carrie B, have you been to your PO box? Yes, but I haven't opened everything. If you sent me something, who's this lady? Who's this man? Denver Steva, where the heck have you been? Hi, Abigail. I missed you too. Uh, does Gertie know that she has to go to work as a board member for SPTV? She looks pissed about it. Are you upset about it? Are you upset that you had to get a job? She says, ladies don't work. Kiss the foot. Even though it's wet from being outside. Are you mad that you have to get a job? Are you fairly upset about the fact that you have to work sometimes? So am I. Uh, Mousy, Stacy Sullivan. Hey, Mark Hardman. I missed you too, Mark. I love Mark Hardman. Guys, I really did miss you guys. It was serious. Uh, wine a little bit more. I washed my hair today. Thank you for noticing. Buddy's dad, Conroe. Thank you so much. Erica. I love Erica. I'm really proud of her. We're waiting to hear. She's a big deal at Costco. I don't know if you knew. Everybody knows her. Everybody knows her within the realm of the uh, large corporations. The Large Corporation Foundation is where she works um, in New York. 
what's the blue drink? Wouldn't you want to know? This is my new favorite thing. This is the Ultima, um, Ultima um, blue raspberry electrolytes. Actually, I do want to scroll down in this chat though. Uh, don't take this the wrong way at all, but you kind of look like Elizabeth Holmes in that Theranos promo. I don't know who Elizabeth Holmes is, but thank you. I won't take it the wrong way. Meryl West. Thank you guys. Yeah. I'm going to be on the board of the SBTV foundation and I probably will bring nothing to the table. As you well know, I'm not the smartest uh, when it comes to boards and people and corporations and decisions and talking and making eye contact. That's not true, actually. I can do those things pretty well. Uh, Reese out, touch faith. I like that. I don't know what that means, but I'm liking it. Uh, you love them. I love the oversized frame and modified aviator. I knew that you would, Ren, because you too have cute glasses and we're just kind of a thing, you and I, and everybody knows it, kind of like me and Katie. Uh, it's a crisp look, Katie says. Okay, good, Katie. Uh, Katie, I'm mad about my size small kimono. I love you, cat ACDC. Uh, Erica, I tried it with the black turtleneck as well. And I thought this is a bit sophisticated. It's a bit sophisticated. I love Brian Lucas, by the way. Hey, Lisa Vining, Elena Rainerman. Love you, girl. Laura. Thank you, Laura. We love you, Laura. Really love you. I want you to know it. Um, I almost went to the ER for my Reese withdrawal again. I love your self-care breaks, but you are now integrated into my DNA. Not in that creepy stalker way. Hef, I definitely um, can differ differentiate. So thank you for saying that. And uh, I don't intend to take any more breaks. Might be premature, but I would like to send in my resume as a volunteer never. And I have extensive social work experience in the grad degree. I love that so much. However, I make no decisions in anyone's life, including a board. So uh, maybe you should email them though, at the email, whatever that may be. You know what I mean? I'm sure you can find out. You know what I'm saying? Sure you don't. Uh, thank you, buddies, dad, Conroe. Uh, Nicola, missed you. Uh, I am a little, um, I'm a little, uh, hi, Michelle, I missed you as well. I'm a little, is Reese on Instagram? She sure is, Reese0708. Uh, thank you, SMSP. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, since I got back yesterday, I'm a little nasally. Uh, uh, okay, I know. Everybody knows that you're fairly upset about the world and everything in it. I know. You're never happy with anything because it's not, uh, not where you came from with the Lord. I haven't had the pink lemonade, Carrie B, but I want to try it so bad. I like the regular lemonade. The grape is probably my favorite. Uh, maybe, Abigail, that's a great idea. Oh, oh, I know. But I have to control the mouse right now, babe. Hey, Amy Edge, uh, just be yourself, Reese. Screen addict, thank you. Oh my God, Keela, I look like a board member. Wow. You know, I'm good at making myself look certain ways. Sandy McKenna. Thank you, Sandy. Uh, I love you, Carrie Ann. I, we'll see, guys. We'll see. The glasses are cute, but they do add bulk to your nose. Well, I'm pretty sure, Yvonne, that my nose was bulky before these damn glasses existed. I always said I have a very bulbous nose. Okay? Don't forget it. Uh, Sandy, Wendy, thank you. Reese, you have reach? What kind of reach do I have? Skyrider. I love Skyrider. You know, Skyrider, it's weird. That picture of you kind of looks like Ren B. Isn't that weird, guys? Check that out. That kind of looks like Ren B. Skyrider, I love you, girl. Uh, Lavender, first of all, you're smart. So please don't talk about my friend Reese that way. Oh, all right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, I will try not to. I'm really working on it, guys, whether you realize it or not. I have raging heartburn, by the way. You know what I thought would be cool? I um, Thank you, Gina. Glenner and Ammo, thank you. Jody T, thank you. I um, got up this morning and it was snowing. How exciting. It was really fun. I was so excited. It was 31 degrees and blowing snow. It's exactly what you want in the spring. Um, so I decided, you know what? I'm going to go to the store. I went to the store. I got all the stuff and I made chili. And I make good chili, guys. There are certain things I'm good at. Shelly, I missed you. 
and I made a big batch of chili because it's so cold. And um, I, I made it, we ate it like an hour ago and I love chili, but holy heartburn, Crystal Dax. You care about people. And that is an invaluable skill to have one on the board of a nonprofit org. I'm so ding dang proud of you, Lady Crystal. It's in the family, girl. I'm proud of you right back and I love you. Thank you for being here, by the way. I miss you and I hope you're doing better. Spike ZZZ, thank you. Ursina, you'll be a great board member. You're a people person and take it into intuitive initiative, whichever it works either way. Right steppy decisions, cut yourself some slack. Ursina, thank you so much. And I will because of you. Hazel B, thank you. Hi, Debbie Lima. Uh, Depeche Mode, your own personal pizza. That's how I like to say that song. Okay, let's not be too upset with our lives. We mustn't judge too harshly. Even though you came from above, you shouldn't be judging just because you can. Doesn't it say like only, only God can judge me? She takes that kind of personally and seriously because she was chosen by the Lord. I think it's a little much and I don't think the Lord would want you to behave that way. Uh, Kathy loves horses, babe, love you. Ren, so, do you see how much Skyrider looks like Ren B? Are they the same person? That would be weird. You have an incredible way of connecting and engaging with people. Plus, Gertie will be there with her laser eyes that melted your ice cube while she was sitting right at the hand of Christ. You can't forget that old chestnut of a story. Oh, somebody is better than everybody else. Uh, Blakey, uh, you're going to surprise yourself. I love everyone on the board, but seeing you and Sterling next to each other as colleagues was so cool. Blake, I knew you'd feel that way. And I am so happy, 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 happy that Sterling's going to be there with me. I love him. I talked to him today for about an hour. He's doing great, by the way. He says hello. The plane messes up my sinuses, witness. Okay, okay. That could be what's going on. Because I don't feel sick, but I am nasally. Just act natural, Blake. I really don't know any other way. How was my flight back? Uh, funny, you should ask, Jody T. I picked a ch seat, chair seat, um, with a really old woman. I mean old. She was probably 90. I felt kind of sorry for her because at one point she had to get up and pee. And I was like, do I need to walk behind her? Because she was kind of wobbly. It made me nervous. Um, oh, Sandy, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. She's got a bit of an attitude. She's a little, uh, it, it didn't, you know, I never imagined she could be better than the rest of us even more, but she's even more en entitled, high and mighty. Can you tell? Um, thank you, Debbie Lima. Uh, she sat next to me. Joe Virus, where's Rain? I love you guys. Uh, right now, Tommy would be making fun of me going, oh my God, oh my God, it's Joe Virus. He's hilarious. Um, guys, Uh, really? Well, it's the cheetah one. You already have the cheetah one, Katie. You can't buy it off of me. Um, that's okay, Keela. Enjoy your birthday. What was I just saying? Oh, so old. I sat next to old and I thought, this is great. You know, this is good. And it was good until the plane ended and we landed and her jitterbug or whatever they have those for old people. Um, the phone rang right when the plane landed. And I was ready to get off the plane. And uh, she was like, oh, hi, Ed. And she just sat there. Not a care in the world. People are getting off the plane and I'm stuck by the window. And I was like, look, Gladys, I got to pee. I want to get out of here. I've been on this plane. Like, I really want to go. But she was busy talking to Ed. And uh, there was uh, no hurry in Gladys. So that that was fine. That's fine. Somebody, um, well, thank you, Chi Chicana. Uh, somebody uh, definitely burped up some beef jerky on the plane, and I felt a little bit psychotic for a minute. Um, but there's nothing you can do about it except don't breathe. Uh, my sister, George, I love you. Oh, Shelly, that's awesome. You already made a, found a donation to the foundation. Hi, Kim is blue. Okay. Yeah, we know. Everybody knows. Everybody knows that you're incredibly upset and there's no reason for it. Okay. All right. Uh, and you said this wasn't a concert, Sarah with an H. 
Uh, I'm not the same person, but she must be incredibly awesome. Skyrider is incredibly awesome, but you guys do look alike. Hey, Donald. It has been a lukewarm minute, brother. Hey, Spicy Cat Foster. Kelly B. Love you, Kelly B. Monk Searcher, hey. Uh, Sterling, I did see that picture. I told him it wasn't a good picture. And he, he wrote me back and said, ouch. And I was like, dude, you asked my opinion. He sent me a thing and he was like, what do you think of this picture? I was like, no, we can do better. Oh, isn't that what they have those things? A jitterbug? Hey, Mary. Love Maddie. Your birthday's tomorrow. Happy early birthday, babe. Sassy Savage, I'm sure Tommy will sing anything you want. I'm going to go on his show tonight. Uh, what will you be doing as a board member? Do all you get to convene with each other at certain points for different meetings or whatnot? Uh, I've only had one meeting so far, Blakey, and uh, we're going to, I think, do a meeting like once a month. I'm not exactly sure what my job will be as a board member. I'm sure I will be told. Oh, that's cute, Sarah Bell. I did abandon Gertie. Chops World, you made it. You made it. Uh, Margie Barr, it was not. Yeah, Gertie made it on the board. You got, okay. Yes, we know. Oh, everybody knows. I. Everyone knows. Everybody knows except you. Did you know that you were tiny? Did you know that you're extra small? Did you know your dainty is all get out and you give little dainty girl kisses? Did you know that you have a little snaggle tooth? Did you know that you were raised next to Jesus? All right. Uh, Blake, you would be perfect for that. Hi, Annette. Hey, Vix. She might forgive me. She gets pretty upset. Like she gets upset if I leave for a couple of minutes or hours in the afternoon. Mommy just brushed your hair. How come it's already kind of knotted? Oh, you're awfully small. Uh, sassy, that is such a nice thing to say. Comment, the fact that you're so easy to relate to and open to others makes you a huge asset to the board. Thank you, Sass. That is such a nice thing to say. I'm serious, Blake. I'm going to set you down for a minute. We'll see how that goes. Oh, she's judging. She's hardcore judging. Um, me too, Debbie Lima. So when will you, Sterling, Aaron, Tommy, and others have another game night, trivia night? Spike, Sterling and I would love to do it. Um, we have to get people together to do it. And um, hey, Cosmic Christy. Uh, thank you, Vix. Aaron is a busy man. I mean, he's even more busy now. Hey, Anna Banana. Um so we'll see. I don't know if Aaron will be a part of it. I don't know if he will or won't. Uh, I would love to have Tommy. Tommy is hilarious on a game night, as is Sterling, Mike Brown. All those people are really funny. Um, she does, Stan Bercevo. She watches it very intently. Inappropriate half. I could see that, girl. As That's kind of how I feel right now. Dragon, yeah, that's that dragon reader. That was funny. Speaking of dragon, where is uh, Dragon Tears? I haven't seen her for a minute. Yeah, you, Starling, Tommy, and Liz. I miss Liz. That was, we, this stupid mouse. I hate this mouse so much. Uh, Natalie Webster would be fun for a game night. Um, yes, that, that night with Tommy and Liz and Mike Brown, that was so funny. You know, I didn't know. A number just called me that seems familiar and I I can't remember who, who that was. I talked to somebody at that number today. Um, I didn't know Tommy that well. That's what I was trying to remember what I was saying. I didn't know Tommy that well on that game night that we did. Dragon Tears, there you are. I haven't seen you for a little bit, babe. I'm glad that you're here. I sometimes, it's so weird when I have time, like I'm on an airplane, like I was yesterday morning. When I have time, I sometimes think of people I haven't seen for a while on the channel and Dragon Tears was one of them. I was like, where is she? Okay, good. There's Rain Virus. Joe is here. And I'm like, where's Rain? Hey, Rain. Love you, babe. 
I love you, Ursina. Thank you. ER can was hoping to catch a live. You made it, my friend. Roxy, you're going through anxiety and you're really pissed off. I'm so sorry to hear that. You've been working a lot. Roxy, I hope you're all right, my friend. Hi, Lino. Oh, really, Shay? The straight blonde hair, red lip, black shirt combo is your look. Uh, Shay, but what do you think of the glasses? Do you like these glasses? Some of you do, some of you don't. This is a new, uh, this is a new pair for me. And um, last week when I was getting ready to go get this prescription filled, uh, Jay Bernie, I've been out of town, my friend, but I'm back. I missed you too, Jay. I, um, some of you didn't like these. I like them. I think they're cute. Not every day, but you know, I love an aviator. Now, like Ren B said, this is a little bit of a um, modernized aviator and it's also a men's frame. This is clearly not, I mean, it's unisex, but to me, it looks like a guy's frame. I just thought it was cute. Thank you, Sarah Bell. Oh, I like that. Shelly. Thanks, Jilbo. Uh, you look like a serious ball buster in that outfit. I, I like that. Curious Wendy. Thank you, babe. Spike Z. Okay, you guys like them. A couple of people last week were like, no. Thank you, Snake. They're a yes from you. Cosmic Christie says yes. I wonder what Tommy will think of these. Oh, really, Big Z? Yeah, you were one of them. Thank you, Michelle. I'm not going to lie. They've grown on me. I no longer hate them. Big Z, thank you. I love that. Thanks, Mousy. Cooler by the lake. Thank you. Jane, thank you. You know, Karen W., thank you. She's bringing sexy back. Yeah, right. I would say that's the last word you would describe me as. Zelda, I appreciate that. Tommy will love them. I kind of doubt it. I kind of doubt it. Tommy's weird about some of my frames. I'm trying to think. I've had a couple frames where we were going to go live, and I was like, do you like these or these? And he was like, definitely not those. Put the other ones on. <laughs> that's okay. Mama's life. Thank you. Uh, it's number 93, Chow Yun Smite of the Sephora Lip Collection, the lip stains, number 93. Kim Greenleaf. Yeah, you weren't sure about them. That's right. But you like them now. Okay. Okay. Uh, retired red, try some. And you know, what's scary about this frame. I didn't, I went out on a limb. I saw these on eBay and I was like, I kind of like those. And I just ordered them. Sometimes I do that without going to an optical and trying them on. Um, I, these are Tom Ford. Tom Fords are expensive. This frame was like 400 and I found it on eBay for $89. And I was like, I'm going to get them because they were brand new. Info down truck. That's kind of true. Thanks EVM. You know, glasses are weird. I knew that these would not go with everything. I specifically picked this turtleneck and a simple earring to do it. Like you can't go wild with these. They're pretty, they kind of take up, you can't put like a big, I suppose I could try actually. I was thinking like a patterned outfit with these might fight each other, the pattern and the frame, but maybe I'm wrong. I haven't tried it. Wow, Beach Bum Beagle, missed your previous live. Congrats, board member. Thank you for your super chat, babe. That's so kind. Thank you. Crazy Reeky Lady, thank you. Thanks, Miss Sunrise Dawn. Tiffany Lane, I appreciate that. Oh, you're giving me Viper vibes and Kill Bill. Who is Viper? I'm sorry that I have to ask that because I love Kill Bill. Jen Jen Pookie, thanks, babe. I don't know if Tommy will like this frame. Kelly Wallace. I love Kelly Wallace. I, you know, I'm not surprised that you like these glasses, Kelly. They kind of remind me of you. I loved your glasses. Thank you, Georgia Burke. Thanks, Toots. My mom said tarts, only tarts where red nails are. What's a tart? Uh, are they purple or black? No, they're black. No, they're not. They're tortoise. See the brown? See the like different colors of the brown? The tortoise. Lino, how does your skin always look so flawless? It's not. I have a lot of texture issues on my cheeks, but thank you for saying that. I use a lot of skincare. Ursina, I love you. Oh. Oh, going to sleep. Having an emotional day ahead of me tomorrow, cleaning out my mother's house. We love you, Ursina. We're with you. That's sad. I'm sorry, girl. That's rough. 
Get some good sleep. Hopefully that will help. Mom is life. You must have a smaller face shape and frame. And maybe your PD, which is your pupillary distance, might be closer together if you have to wear child's frames. Yeah, it was a great price, Zelda. For a Tom Ford, Tom Ford is expensive in general. A Tom Ford lipstick is like 60 bucks. Yawn, uh, for my heartburn, apple cider vinegar doesn't really do much for me. However, I take um, betaine hydrochloride for it and it works like a charm. It's already chilled out. I don't know who Elizabeth Holmes is. Kim Greenleaf, I agree. Reese Dahmer, they're very Dahmer. Yeah, they're very Dahmer, Stevo. Grandma, I've been out of town, but I'm back, babe. I'm ready to rock. I need a goldenrod caftan for the cruise. Do I have one? I do. I do. It's not real yellowy. It's actually all gold shimmer, but I do have a golden caftan. Rhonda Frank, thank you. Oh, shit. You couldn't be more right about that. I can see those glasses with a big leopard print. Oh. Ooh. I just got a leopard print kimono. Oh, these would be good with leopard print. Dang, little bubble. Dang, that's good. Reese, got my A1C, 6.3 to 5.6 in three months. Squirrel girl, that's crazy. I thought I was proud of mine, minus 6.7. Good for you. That's almost non-diabetic. That's some serious under control in this there. Good for you, babe. Vix, it serves rich lady female dick swinger in the best way. Thank you so much. Yeah, Kelly, they remind me of your frames too. Oh, a tart is a hoe. Cute. I like that. Um, do stains dry your lips out? Yours always looks perfect. Jen Jen, not this one. Uh, the Sephora lip stains do not dry my lips out at all at all. And I love them and they really stay on. Red is a power color. How come you have so many glasses? Are you rich? I am not rich, Roxy. I worked for ophthalmologists for 12 years. So in those 12 years, I made good friends with the opticians. But even outside of that, I made good friends with the glasses representatives, the people who would come in with frames and sell them. Um, they would give us free frames all the time. So I have about 70 pairs of glasses and I'd say about 60, maybe 55 of them are free from where I worked. And then I got super cheap lenses made working for them from the labs. So no, it's not because I'm rich. It's because I, like most people, get a discount where I work on something that they have to offer. You know what I mean? A tart is a floozy. I love that. Tampa Bee's mom was something special, I'm telling you. What is my phone doing? A lot of people are messaging me on Facebook Messenger. Lori Lee, you need new makeup. I love Trini London. She is my favorite uh, person where I buy my makeup from. I don't solely use Trini London, but most of my stuff is Trini London. And I have turned a lot of you on to Trini London. Um, I know Nancy Stitchin ordered some. Tampa Bee Man ordered some. I love Trini London products. DNV, I missed you. Am I shouting? Barefoot April, thank you, babe. DNV, you renewed your membership. You're a little angel and you know it too. Everybody knows. Uh, peppermint tea for heartburn doesn't do a lot for me, Zelda. However, I love, Bye Loves Alaska. I love peppermint tea. I love it. Am I still going to have that cooter talk on YouTube with your OBGYN? Um, I don't know. What was I going to do with my OBGYN? Um, Raymond, are you in here? Because I was going to tell you, Raymond just texted me and I have like 56 text messages I'm behind on. And I know that you're one of them. So Raymond, if you're in here, don't worry. I'm going to get back to you tonight. Reese just went through her caftan Rolodex. Erica, that's true. That is true. I have so many caftans and it's stupid that I have that many because I don't wear them in the cold. So it's like, I only have a certain amount of months. That's why I need to move. There goes my monetization. It happens. 
Mama Smurf, thank you. PJ Mac, thank you. Hey, Pamela SP Butterfly. Oh, yeah. The real Dahmer glasses with the tint. I don't get tinted. Um, Tommy is into the thick black frames. He does seem to be into that, but you got to be careful because Tommy and I had a conversation about this once. Some glasses remind him of the creepy ones that they make for you in prison, and he doesn't like that. So these won't be that, though. Um, Sassy Savage, the, the red power. Oh, yeah. The, from Colt to Living Freely, the red is a power color is a leopard print. Yes, red and leopard print rocks my world. Um, I can't always wear red, but the thing I like about red, too, is it makes your teeth look super white. Now, my teeth are overly white because she really overly whitened them. Uh, Koala Lou, I missed you, too. Joe Virus, I don't know what that means. Uh, you love tarts? That doesn't surprise me at all, Then Siva, not at all. Uh, Big Z, thanks for asking. My friend is actually a lot better. A lot better. I appreciate you asking that. Roxy, you have two VA pairs. Uh, the VA makes great glasses. Fred got his glasses all the time from the VA, and they're free. I, I actually like their glasses. What do you use for taking care of your skin on your face? Uh, Rhonda, nighttime... I do a toner after I wash and then I do an exfoliant, a leave on exfoliant. And then I do a vitamin C serum, vitamin C, um, moisturizer and a vitamin C eye cream. That's my nighttime routine now. And I've been liking it. The vitamin C thing's kind of new for me. And I do feel like it's brightening my skin. Uh, in the morning I do the toner. I do a leave on exfoliant again. I do a calming serum first, and then I do a vitamin C serum after that. And then I do a zaleic, is that how you say it? A zaleic acid booster. And then I do a SPF 30 moisturizer. And then I do my SPF 30 uh, tinted moisturizer. And then I do a little bit of a heavier tinted moisturizer over that. Hi, fancy Nancy. Oh, and definitely my eye cream, daytime eye cream. You know, I don't, peppermint, I've, I've researched a lot of stuff that lowers, uh, Trini does need to give me a freaking referral code. Um, uh, Raymond, our friend in the chat sent me some Trini products to try. It was so sweet of him. He's so sweet. He was my platonic Valentine. I really love him. Uh, the research that some things that lower blood sugar I've tried and they don't like, I don't ever, it doesn't, it's not a thing for me. So that's why you never respond to your texts. That is why. What the F is a caftan? Um, it's a really pretty long dress info dump truck that I love. I don't know who Elizabeth Holmes is. Hi, Lisa Trimble. Nice to see you, babe. I hope you're doing good. How behind am I? Yeah, red and leopard. Oof. I also love green and leopard, like emerald green with leopard. It's a lot for me. Yeah, I don't think these are creepy prison glasses either, Lino. Christina, thank you, babe. Uh, when will the next call-in show be? Let's ask Tommy. I don't know. Maybe he's planning on one tonight. He does want me on his show tonight, though. So that will be at 9 o'clock my time, Central Time, 7 o'clock Pacific Time, his time. 8 o'clock East Coast. That's all I know. Kit Marie, so glad you're on the board of the foundation. All of you are extremely smart, regardless of what kind of education you had or didn't have. That's such a nice thing to say, Kit. Thank you. Uh, vitamin C is best used in the daytime. I researched it and it said you could do either one. Now, I actually do both. I do it at night and day because um, my allergies or whatever happened since I got back yesterday, I'm going to blow my nose. So hold on. Sorry, I know that's gross, but um, I don't know what else to do. It's going to run down my face otherwise. 
Oh, and the, the skincare products that I use are pretty much all um, Trini London right now, but also um, my favorite is Paula's Choice. I want to use Trini London full-time, but her skincare is really expensive. Her makeup's expensive. Um, and I've been using her makeup for years, but I can't afford both right now. I use Paula's Choice. And right now Paula's Choice is doing a sale. They do a lot of sales. You know, I haven't smelled Tom Ford's men's fragrance, but I love men's fragrances and I need to go smell some for Jeff. Hey, Tennessee, Jenny. Emerald green is so good. Yeah, Chow Yun Smet, we've talked about that. I've heard Korean skincare is really good. Thank you, Verbo Boss. Guys, also speaking of, I have missed you, Lisa Tremble. I feel like I haven't seen you for a long time. I'm really happy that you're here. Um, hi, Lisa Love. Guys, we're doing a live on Thursday, this Thursday at Lady Co. 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I love Paula's choice. Amber, um, I send a message you even know you've been busy. Yeah, I haven't. Uh, oh, well, well, am I behind? By a minute. He's probably still here. Uh, there's our boy. There's our boy, Tommy. Um, I love Paula's choice for skincare. Tommy, uh, do you still want me on your show tonight? I'm promoting it to everybody. There's almost 600 people in here. Do you want us on there, Tommy, or not? Give us, give us blink twice. Uh, Tommy, everybody's asking when we're going to do the next call-in show. Hey, Connie. Callie girl, welcome. The dapper cap. Kathy Ann, that is so cute. I bet he loves that. The dapper cap. Uh, Tommy, where are you? Why is it that every time I say something to Tommy, he disappears? You in the chat inspired me to switch from Maybelline to CoverGirl. That's wonderful. I've never used either one, but I bet uh, I bet they're good. Ruthie Brown, thank you. Hey, John Van Geest. Yeah, John Van Geest says, Tommy, do you want us to come and participate in your show? We need to know. Everybody's saying hi to Tommy and he's not saying anything back. Oh, he says yes. I fell kind of flat, Tommy. Can you give us a yes with an exclamation point, please? We want to be uh, enticed. Like, can you flirt it on a little bit? Can you lay on, can you, can you layer it on a little thicker? Like, yes, you sexy babe, get your ass over here in a couple hours. Like something like that, but in your own words, you know? If you don't mind. Anytime. Anytime. Thank you, Marie J. What time, Lifeboat? Uh, nine o'clock my time, Kathy Ann. Seven o'clock his time. Tommy is a speaker, uh, not an author. I said yes. Okay. We still have to kind of show Tommy the ropes on flirting. And that's okay. You know what? He's trainable. You can work with him. Um, he does a good job. He... Uh, he pretty much, uh, he listens to me most of the time. And uh, yes, Reese, he says yes. Of course he said yes. We get that he said yes. He needs to say yes, you sexy babe. Yes, you sexy bitch. Something like that. Like, I'm not asking for a lot. Am I reaching for the stars here? Not really. Okay. Get a bleach. Elizabeth Holmes is the Theranos woman. I don't know who that is. Who's now in prison. That sucks, lifeboat. Try harder. I gave you two examples. There's no excuse at this point for the crap you're pulling. She modeled, modeled her whole look, black turtleneck on Steve Jobs. She even de deepened her voice. Wow. Um, does that mean I have a deep voice? I don't know. Hi, Pam. God, listen to his response. Freaking woo-hoo. You're not at a concert, Tommy, okay? Like I just said, Reese and company. Okay, fine. If that's the best he can do, I... I guess we'll be there. Yeah, I'm not getting the t 2D flow from Tommy right now. John, that is so nice of you to say coming from another guy. So I'm not the only one that notices it. I'm not feeling the two. Yeah, see, yes, baby girl. That would be nice. You know, sometimes you call me baby doll. Why can't you say that? That is so cute. I don't understand. Like, why are you acting like I'm your friend from high school? Some dude. Um, 
Hi, Kristen, Melinda. Tommy, a little sweet talk, buddy. I like that. Tommy, a little sweet talk, buddy. Excuse me, ma'am, step out of the car. Um, how can I explain this? For our little kindergarten ears here. Um, guys, Tommy and I, Reese's hair is sexy tonight. That's all we're asking for. Why couldn't you say that, Tommy? Amber beat you to it. Um, uh, Roxy, don't worry about paying for a membership. It's no problem, babe. Uh, oh, but she said yours is the only membership one besides rabbit that I pay for. I'm on it. That is so sweet. Uh, Roxy, you don't have to have a membership, babe. Please don't feel like you have to. I love everybody the same. I love all of my students the same. Uh, out of the car. Yeah. So guys, since the cat's out of the bag, uh, Tommy Gunn Scoville. Uh, I love you, Brianna. Tommy is role-playing. I miss uh, yours and Tommy's lives. Been dealing with kidney stones. God, that's awful. Uh, check your text. I don't have a text from you. Must have been another girl. Um, uh, that's true, too. Guys, so... Oh, I didn't know that, Jamie Palmer. Uh, guys, Tommy Tommy looks like a cop. Yes, he does, in a very good way. And oh, there he is. Really, you do? I didn't think you would. Hey, babe, what do you think about these glasses, though? Uh, these are my new glasses, and uh, are there handcuffs involved? God willing. Um, guys, uh, these glasses... Um, we weren't sure if you would like them. Uh, anyway, yeah, I love that, Tommy Gunn. So guys, Tommy and I were having a conversation and um, yeah, we, we think he looks a little bit like a cop. And, um, you know, that led to other things. That led to other, uh, I do love everybody the same. It led to other discussions, if you will, you know, full on uh, consensual adult stuff. And um uh, it was hot. It was pretty, uh, pretty steamy, to be honest. And um, I can't get him out of my mind. Uh, as a cop now. And so every once in a while, uh, Tommy will say randomly, did you know that you have a warrant? <laughs> and uh, excuse me, I just get really turned on by it. I have to kiss myself. Um, so there's that. And, uh, you know, when I think about you, I touch myself. What were we saying? I don't remember. I don't remember a time before this. I don't remember the color of the house. TMI, this is not the channel for that. You know it. You know it better than anybody else, Tampa B man. Don't even look at your text messages then from me if that's TMI. Pervy, is it though? Mm. Oh, I didn't call him that yet. Officer Scoville. Oh, we might have to cut this live short. <clears throat> Excuse me. So yeah, it's been a good time and um, I am blushing a little bit, but it is coming back down to normal. You are getting distracted. Yeah. Um, uh, <clears throat> throat's dry. Cops are icky? No, they're not. Not when they look like uh, Officer Scoville. Oh, shit. This turtleneck is getting... Anyway, so... Uh... Ooh, Shelly. Officer T.G. Scoville. That is... Uh... I'm confused by the feelings I'm experiencing. Captain Scoville is not quite as hot. Tommy, it's not quite as hot um, as Officer Scoville. Time for a pat down. Where's that? Ooh. Uh, anyway, Tommy, um, Katie did it. I don't know. It is hot, Shelly. Thank you so much. Officer Scoville, drop and do 10. 
Guys, I mean, we're all feeling it. Everybody knows. It's no, it's no secret. Sergeant Scoville. Oh, wow. That one really got me. That one got me right in the cooter, John. Aww. Uh, that one, uh, yeah. Snail trails all up and down, all up and down this chair. Uh, <laughs> Reese, this is starting to get a bit weird. My dad was a cop and a Tom, never Tommy. Well, the good news is Tommy doesn't go by Tom. Tommy's leaving now. Yeah, he probably is. He'll text me. I'm not confused. I may actually want my husband tonight. Music to my ears. See, we do a lot of good things for this channel. We do a lot of charity work here. Um, I feel like I'm reading a romance novel. That's because you are, Sarah Bell. That's because you are. Hey, Linda Perales. Um, oh, God, that really got me. Sergeant Scoville. Hmm. What are we going to talk about tonight on the channel, by the way? Reese, wear your leopard coat and Tommy put on the purple and leopard hat for the boat. That's a good idea. All right, Tommy's going to work, he says. The bone phone is calling. Tommy, don't be scared. I don't think Tommy's scared. You're too gay for this chat. You're getting tingles, Shelly. Guys, it's healthy. Detective Scoville. Shit. Damn, I didn't even think about all these possibilities. See, I haven't, uh, I haven't been, uh, I haven't been feeling very sexual lately until just now, and I'm glad that it's, uh, it's back. He's so funny, you guys. Tommy really makes me laugh. Inspector Scoville. Mm, mm. The love boat. Hey, Feral Cheryl. Um, <laughs> Mama's life, you're so cute. You know, he didn't say if he liked these glasses, which tells me he doesn't. I'm going to say sure we can. Seriously, though, I'm excited to go on the lifeboat tonight. I feel like we haven't talked for a minute. Uh, I left the room to finish making dinner and came back to hear the phrase snail trails on my chair. Ren B, I'm not ashamed. Ooh, Jilbo. Dang. Jilbo kind of wins it tonight. Chief Scoville. What is it? Uh, the police chief. Is that what they call that? Like the chief? Ooh. Secret agent Scoville. La, 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 la. So good. All right. I got to stop. We got to stop. I'm going to get myself in trouble and I do it all the time. As good as a concert. I love you, Bernice Dooley. God, thank you for the super chat, babe. Joe just brought home a Slim Jim and I'm trapped in the car with him. I'd jump out, roll the windows down and jump out. Wait till it's safe, like at a slower pace and jump out. Uh, Denver Sivo, you got that right, brother. Yeah, Bernice, thank you for your super chat. Ha <laughs> ha Randy. That's right. Tommy was pale that night. I got myself a tan. Ooh, internal affairs inspector Scoville. How come every time I get turned on, I start rubbing my beard? And this thing is really needs some tending. Who waxes their beard? I've never done it. But I'm starting to think about doing it. Um, thank you, de degraded daughter. Becoming a board member. Thank you, babe. That is so nice. Be pickle. Welcome. Oh, my God, Tinker Mom. Maybe Sarge Scoville will cuff and stuff you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And a root beer. That's gross. President Scoville. That one doesn't turn me on as much, oddly enough. Oh, man. Chief Scoville. Field Marshal Scoville. <laughs> I wish Tommy was still here. This is hilarious. Reese, you should do a live where you read a romance novel. That's a great idea. I like that. You let your beard grow? Of course you do. I can't do that. Um,
Um, I can't let it grow like that or I won't get a boyfriend. Special Agent Scoville. Mm. Is anybody else as turned on as I am? Rain virus, I can't help you. I'm so grossed out. Joe is being a dusty son. Uh, you wax your beard? Andra Wise, welcome, babe. Doesn't it hurt? We're writing the best porno ever. Do most women get beards? Um, I don't know. I think the combination of the fact that I'm very Italian, I'm diabetic, and I'm, I'm convinced that I have polycystic ovarian syndrome, even though I don't. My ovaries are the right size. I still think I have it. And people who have PCOS have a beard. So I don't know. I'm not sure. But I know I've talked to enough women who are like, yeah, I have a beard. Like my OBGYN is like, yeah, I totally have a beard. Ooh, Master Sergeant Scoville. Mm. Just don't wax it right before going live. Yeah, Agent Scoville is hot. Uh, yeah, we've hit Detective Scoville, but Blake, it doesn't hurt to hit it twice. Ooh, FBI Agent Scoville. Deep Dive Scoville. Mm. Dr. Scoville, it doesn't quite do it. I pluck daily too, but I still feel it. Inspector Screwville. <laughs> Sassy Savage. Yeah. When I think about you, I touch myself. Director Scoville. Mm. Electric tweezers. What the hell is that? Jedi Master Scoville. Okay, now you're just going to make him trip over his own head. Let's not do that. Sylvia Perez. Missed you too, girl. Yeah, I mean, I think Italian women get beards. Blakey, Blake, Reese Scoville. You knew it, you knew, ooh, Lieutenant Scoville. I like that one, I like that one a lot. Yeah, I mean, I would love it if it, <laughs> Ev Barney, you're hilarious. Um, oh, you can have PCOS and not have polycystic ovaries? Well, there you go. Uh, who, what, where now? Found $5 on the ground today. Here you go. P.S. Would you ever discuss, discuss stalking and women's safety? Scary and serious, but seems relevant for today for some. Absolutely. I would discuss that, girl. I discuss everything. Um, yeah. You, uh, you tell us what you want to talk about. We'll talk about that. And thank you for your $5. Okay. One second. Hold up. One second, guys. I'm not looking at my screen. Okay. All right. One last thing. I need to blow my nose again. I'm sorry. I think it's allergies. I think being out of town and coming back. Hold on. I really like Commander Scoville. That's pretty hot too. Master Scoville, Drill Sergeant Scoville, Special Agent Scoville. Ma'am, I'm going to need you to spread your feet and legs and put your hands on the hood of the car while I frisk you for contraband. Okay, Renby. Speaking of snail trails, girl, that one did it for me. Dang. Guys, how do you feel about that? That's something I kind of want to discuss sometime. Like, how do we feel about that? I kind of like get turned on by it. Is that weird? Does anybody else do that? Is it weird? Um, I feel a little weird about it. Let me plug this thing in. I touch myself. This is kind of an easygoing chat tonight. I really didn't have much of a, uh, ooh, Ranger Scoville. That's hot. I didn't have a lot of it. Ooh, Blake, project manager Scoville, dungeon master Scoville. Okay, so you guys are all in on it. I don't need to feel bad about this. Not going to kink shame you. Um, this is now the 50 shades of Scoville. Uh, yeah, that's kind of where I'm going. Um, Chris and Melinda, that being which part? The cop thing, uniforms, handcuffs. Yeah, just... Um, 
I do want to talk about this. Like, how do other people feel? Let your freak flag fly. I, I don't blame you. You know, being coming from Scientology, we should talk about sex sometime. Coming from Scientology, like we've never talked about sex. That's funny. But I don't have a lot of experience. We all in the kink, not sad about it. I think I have a little bit of a kink. Um, and I don't know it, but I think I might. And I've never been able to think about it. Um, power differential. Yeah, uniforms. Um, just kind of the idea of, uh, yes, yes, yes. Like being in control versus not being in control versus like a little bit of a uh, kind of a dominating thing. I feel like I'm kind of into it. Um, Robin Miners, Scoville in any uniform. Welcome back. Friendship tax. Wow, you really doubled up, Robin. Thank you. Thank you for your super chat, my love. Uh, we don't kink shame here. Just kink ask why. And then we kink accept. <laughs> Blake, I love you. Um, it's normal, Kestrel? Well, I don't know because I've never been able to. Reese the dominatrix? No, 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 Spike. I'm talking about it the other way around. Reese is more of a sub for sure. Reese is not a dom. I am not. Now, I'm dominating in the world. Like I'm loud. I mean, I don't know if that's dominating, um, but I'm, I'm, I'm overbearing. But I'm talking about getting down, boning down. Reese, face it, you're a dirty girl. Um, yeah, it's better not to not be in control. Just saying, Shelly, that's what I, where I'm at. Um, embrace your kink. I've just never really had a chance. How to? I did. I watched like three episodes of that. How to build a sex room on Netflix. That's a little extreme. Um, that's a little extreme. And I don't want to, guys, I don't want to overdo it on this conversation. Let's not get too weird. Um, yeah, info dump truck for sure. And I don't think I'm too deep into it. Like I'm not into pain. I would never be into that. I think just a little bit of, um, just a little bit. Yeah, start with the small stuff. Role playing's healthy. Reese, is Sister Christian in here? I bet she's loving the conversation. Abigail, she might be in here, and I really uh, kind of forgot about her, to be honest. If the desire for safety is so strong, you can look for a several to find that trust. Interesting, Skywriter. Yeah, Paula Puffer, I agree. Um. I don't know that I like the spanking idea, to be honest. It's not really me. I don't know. I don't know. Bye, PJ Mac. I heard that. Don't wax when ovulating. I don't wax my cooter and I never would. I'm sorry. I can't do that. I might wax my beard. <laughs> Hi, Sister Christian. I hope you enjoy hating us tonight. Absolutely, Blakey. I hope she does too. I don't think I like, I have been spanked before. I don't think I like it. It doesn't feel right to me. It's kind of a weird feeling for me. And it's more the pain. I don't like it. I don't like the way it felt. I've had a guy slap me on my ass really hard with my clothes on. I've had Jeff actually has slapped me really hard with my clothes off. One, it scares Gertie. But two, it's like, I don't like it. I just don't like it. It hurts. Like, I don't, I don't like pain. It's more a control thing. Reese, you'd like the little tingles? I doubt it, Blake. A big no. Yeah, mama's life. Yeah, it's not a thing for me. That's so true, Kualu, right there. Kualu nailed it. You just like a guy that knows how to get things done. You're scaring the children. Sea jar. I hope you had a nice bur oh CJ Harris. Never mind. I thought that was C Jar. C Jar's birthday was the other day. Is there a pair of glasses that wouldn't look good on you? Just stop. So you like these? I figure not everybody would like these, but thank you for saying that. No. How do you feel about choking? No. I don't think I, I mean I've never done it. I don't think so. I know that there are people into that. It's not my thing. 
I don't think that's my thing. I think that's too far. Um, so what would I be into then? I mean, I just don't think I'd be into that. It doesn't feel right to me. No, it doesn't. It just doesn't feel good. Well, speaking of, uh, speaking of really sexy men. Hold on here. Sorry, sorry. I'm getting, uh, what was that? Uh, well, first of all, hello, you. Where have you been? Uh, I've been out of town. Where have you been? Apparently on a beach. Actually, you know what? You don't look nearly as tan as the last time I saw you. You know what? I, I caught a little bad lighting and, uh, oh, did you guys have fun at my expense? What did you call me? What was that? What was the word? Which one? What was it? S snas snapser? Snasper? I can't remember what you said. Oh, I thought you were talking about Officer Scoville. Oh, no, no, no. I, uh, the, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I got the Officer Scoville memo. It was the other one. Uh, some of us are calling you more than... Second. What's the other one, guys? Start Everybody name off what you were me? calling him. Oh, you guys, come on. Come up with the list. Uh, Chief Scoville? Ooh, that one kind of got me. Are you listening? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Chief, yeah, Chief Scoville. Um, Special Agent Scoville. Guys, what were the other ones? Hurry. Secret Agent Man. Secret Agent Man. That's hard Giving for me to do, you by the way. Number oh, uh, Lieutenant. Morning. Captain. But no, L Lieutenant Scoville. Sheriff. In Commander. Inspector. Inspector. Yeah, Reese seems to have it bad. Info Dump Truck. What a great name for a. Uh, <laughs> that's awesome info dump uh, do you see what i got uh, i got a cat Jet, jedi master scoville um Ooh. director of internal and inf internal affairs scoville i like this one project Deep manager dive. scoville <laughs> play <laughs> deep dive scoville i like it you yeah. know what deep dive scoville is probably the best one and the pro most appropriate one up there it's literally kind of like do. that one yeah that's what i do it's uh from, what about from that one, one? To, yeah Dungeon Master. Paula Puffer. Yeah. My goodness. Yeah. My goodness, Paula. It's uh, uh Sasper. That was the one. Yeah, that was it. Sasper. Thank you. I, I chairman of that. the board, Scoville. Wait a second. Aren't you on the on the board? I just heard this on my show this morning. You I are, am. Uh, congratulations. How cool is that? I'm Thank very you excited so much. for I'm very excited for the cool work that you people are gonna do. I forgot to tell you about that, actually. Yeah, I got uh, I got added to the board. Um, I think that's so cool. I really do. Uh, you I keep uh, avoiding you keep avoiding this frame. How do you feel about it? Is it not your not your cup of tea because it's too Jeffrey Dahmer? It's it's a little Dahmer. It's a little. I'm gonna. I just kind of feel like you know what I mean. Like you could see the the hands coming up. What was that again? <laughs> Yikes! I'm Please sorry, don't ever do that much, again. Was there too much teeth in the uh, in the? That was a lot of teeth. That was kind of. Do you know what I was doing this? Do you know what I was doing this morning that honestly made me think of you because you forever are spitting out movie uh, clips like this, right? I I think I'm going to start doing random, like the one you answered this morning on the boat where I just randomly spit out a, a movie reference that may not have anything to do with anything, but I just want people to uh, know the- oh. Name that movie. What's it from? Oh, oh, wait. Oh, wait. She a great big fat person? <laughs> she, she a great big fat Yeah, she, Yeah, she's a big girl. Nosferatu, yes. She threw that one out as well, uh, which wasn't very nice. You know who you look like? Do you know who you look like today? Now, listen, you're going to get all bummed out. But by the way, I don't hate her like everyone else does. I know she's a bad person and all that. But I'm just talking about what she looks like. Okay? There's a girl who ran a cult called Nexium. You ever heard of it? Well, you look like her. <laughs> Maybe, what? No, it's not Nexium. No, not Nexium. Wait, no, the other one. What's the name of that the the girl that, that uh, with the fake blood thing that, uh, that pretended to be Steve Jobs? I don't watch TV, babe. Oh, uh, oh, Elizabeth Holmes. Everybody Elizabeth says I Holmes. look like her. That's who. Who you is like. that? That's what everybody said I look like tonight. I don't know who that is. You look exactly like it. Theranos. Really? <laughs> Theranos. Um, 
Yeah, I think you look, that's exactly who you look like. The turtleneck, the glasses, the, the hair. No, you really got it. Elizabeth Holmes there. <laughs> Is she cute? Um, oh, hell yeah. Yeah, she's a bad person. She's a terrible human being, but you'd take her home on a date in a heartbeat. That's not the issue. No, she's a bad person, but she was hot. I'm not saying you you remind me a lot of her character, you low life. I mean, that's not what I said. I said you look like. Oh, you said everybody's, her to see everybody's like, saying Reese is prettier. Thank you guys. Reese is prettier. That's well, so nice. And 500 times nicer a human being. But it and is someone an said, I got to get likeness. that voice change going. Did she, Somebody said she had a really deep voice. Speaking of which, have you ever met one of those people and their voices is nothing like you think it's going to be? Huh? Do you ever meet that person and you're like, hey, how are you? And they. Can you possibly keep it together, Quibble? Huh? Neck it in. Doing too much, like, Quibble. You're, okay, you're doing too much. You know, honestly, neck it in here. Hold on. What were you going to no, say? No, she did. Listen, but no, what I'm trying to get to is the, the person we're talking about. When you see her picture and then you hear her talk, you're going to go, because you go, oh, you know what? I like the outfit. I like that. And then you're going to get the, hey, how are you? You know what I mean? And you just get that. It, it just never matches. <laughs> Who know? does Tommy like, sound like? He sounds like Michael Keaton from Beetlejuice. <laughs> What is the uh, average everyday uh, Joe go around here if you feel a little anxious? You know? <laughs> but that's what she saw. She did everything within her power, Quibble, to drop her voice. <laughs> yeah, it's super fake, Lori. Lori Swenson nailed it. It's super fake. It is so not her natural voice. And you, and you expect, because you, all you see is the picture of her for the longest time. I never heard her speak, especially because I was incarcerated. So I'm looking at her in magazines and I'm reading all of these articles about what a rotten person she is. And then when I got out, I heard the interview voice and it's like, so you boys come around here often. You know, she had that, <laughs> that, that woman from, I can't remember what state it is. There's some state though, that they make jokes about all the time, but you know, the house coat, the two packs of um, Newports that they say you, so, so you guys come around here often. <laughs> Like <laughs> the, would uh, that bum you out? Like if you met a really hot chick and she opened her mouth and sounded like that, do I sound like, no, I don't sound like that. No, you don't. No, no, there's nothing wrong with your voice. I'm picking on the, the person who you look like today. I'm, I'm picking on the person you look like today. You guys, he does the perfect Beetlejuice. We, I need you to do it one more time, babe. <laughs> um, you do the best Beetlejuice. Like, seriously, you can't, you could close your eyes and not tell the difference. <laughs> you know, somebody just said Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Are you crazy? I dropped that three times. Do you, have you seen the movie Ted? Yeah. <laughs> when, they pan, when they panic, he's like, all right, we're in trouble. We got to go for the Beetlejuice defense. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. No, 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 call him. I don't remember that part. I'll have to watch that movie again. That was a funny, actually, that was a good movie. It was cheesy as heck, but it was funny. It's cheesy as hell. It's cheesy as hell. Oh, that's so Terry, weird that you said. You're suck. working with a professional here. Um, I like it when he drops the nice model. Nice the, uh, the model. Over. Hey, Adam, nice <laughs> model. I Grabs love when he's about he's to marry it. her and he pulls the ring off the dead finger. Swear and he's to like, God, Shh. she didn't mean a thing to me. <laughs> you get that to say you're, you're married to the most eligible bachelor that came over since uh, since Valentino, you know, and uh, and I get out of here because I got to be honest, it's way too creepy. You know what I'm saying? He grabs the bug. It's way too creepy in here. You know what I'm saying? You guys, did we not know this hidden talent, this hidden gem? Tommy does that perfectly. That's amazing. See, That's Heffer amazing. gets it too. Honk honk. He grabs his jump. Yes. Does that. Uh -uh. Nice effing model. Wait a second. Wait a second. I'm sorry. Say this in my good ear. Blake, send me a picture. Oh, I'm trying to highlight someone. Um, from cult to, to uh, living freely. Love that. Says as a teenager, I looked like Lydia from Beetlejuice, which I'm sorry. Oh, that's may awesome. be the only excuse for being a non-blonde. I'm just kidding. I love all hair colors. I'm just playing. Tommy Geist. There sure he does. Tommy Juice, Tommy Geist, Tommy Juice. Uh, um, 
Blake said, I saw the video you sent Blake, send me a picture of her. What did I look like her? He is a gem. He is a gem, Debbie. Well, thank um, Tommy, you. are you going to have me on your show tonight? Uh, there's been some talk of it, but uh, I'm not, I'm not wearing police garb or bringing handcuffs. It's not going to happen. No, no, no. You do that for after the show. I too am strange and unusual. I loved her. I really did. I don't know how they, so how do they do? um, Lydia doesn't make it into the new movie. That is weird. I watched the exercise 157 times and it keeps getting funnier every single time time I see it. So what do you think? Not to mention the fact that you're talking to a dead guy. I love that movie. That's weird. Blake Reed just sent me this. She's even wearing a, a turtleneck. Yeah, except she's got the, uh, you know what, eyes. I'm not saying it because I don't want to sound like all, everyone that says those things. But what does she have? She has those culty eyes. Paul Giamatti eyes? People do c- tend to say. Graves you know, disease? Sure. Scientology eyes. It's one of those things that you all the time. When you go to the protest, all the people who walk by either look normal or like that. And everybody goes, oh, those are the Scientologists because they'll walk by. They always have that. Da, 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 da. You know, the free chat says, oh, Do yeah, I you have... look a lot more. You know, but with the glasses off, you look a lot more like her. It's getting creepy. Put the glasses back on. Or drop your voice in octave and start talking like this. Does she talk <laughs> like that? She looks like she has no, a lovely but it's voice. Definitely, she definitely has a voice that she's putting on that's not real. It's just a little too deep. She's a phony. She, she sounds like she wants to be Steve Jobs, except she was a bigger ripoff artist than me. Yeah, I said it. Um, Tommy, do I have Scientology eyes? What does that mean? No, she did. Put back up the picture of her, Quibble. I wasn't talking about you. I was talking about her. Look at her eyes. Wow. Yeah, look at those eyes compared to yours. And take it down a notch. Got you at a seven. Need you at about a three. Um, Ver, uh, verbose, ver, verba boss has it right. She dropped it an octave, uh, to stand out. It's true, Andra. I don't know anything about other cults, though. Yeah, but I didn't know anything about your cult until a little while ago. We could, I, I think that's a great idea. I don't have, yeah, I don't have, um, giant eyes anyway. Like, I can't, I mean, I guess I could try, but I don't have like big, huge, you know, who has big eyes like that? My sister. My sister has really big eyes. Blake Reed is related to her. My sister has Anne Hathaway eyes. What? Blake Reed said she's the most prolific and effective scam artist since Enron. Yeah, the Enron scam is good. Uh, which thank you, Anita she Card. Is actually, blood related to. Oh, she was blood related to the people. I got it from en- from the Enron scandal. Enron. Uh, is she in jail? In like, Texas. where is this girl? Yes. Yeah, she's in she federal is? prison. Yeah, yeah, she's a big girl. Yeah, she reported. You person. you never get that line right, by the way. She says, I know. "Yeah, she's a big girl, sir." I know, I know, but I don't really want to look like I'm dropping this on you all the time. I just want to make you laugh occasionally, because it's really funny when I when I can drop a good, uh, you know, Reese joke and get Reese laughing. Reese is really fun to uh, to listen to giggle. Hey, nice you may watch. Not be aware of this. Do your you like watch that? look like it matches your shirt. Let's see that, that thing. You know, I not very many people would appreciate a color coordinated watch, but you would. I do. I really of I really I can do. see how that um this is a uh it's a modern watch, which I don't do very often, but yeah, I'm pretty proud of it. It's uh Tommy, I would love to have enough pain. watches to color coordinate my outfit, my outfit, just so you know. Uh Joe, I said those glasses remind me of BTK. They are very BTK, but I like BTK. He's in Leavenworth. And that's like an hour from me. And I always wanted to go visit him. There are no better shows sure. on You're YouTube. You're an hour from t- Leavenworth? I have a lot yeah. of friends right down the street from where you live. How about that? Yeah, I've been there. You would be astounded uh, the number of people I know at Leavenworth. I don't think I would be, actually. You're kind of crimmy sometimes. There are no better well, shows on YouTube than the system. two of... Are you looking at April's? There are no better shows on YouTube than the two of you together. Wow. April, everybody knows it. You're a little angel, and I'll say it again. Um, thank you for your, uh, sweetheart donation of your super chat. I want to tell you something, that kind of flattery, 
I'm going to take about 45 more minutes of that and I'm out of here. That's it. I love that too, Mary. I should be a personal stylist. Uh, Tommy, are you on my show right now because you don't want me on your show? Is this your way of getting me off your show or just getting me off? You know what? General? It's I'm so glad. Hold on a second. It took a little less than uh, the nine minutes, but normally at about three, you do that number, that routine where you're like, I don't think he really wants me around. That's the only reason that, right? Normal. Anytime I start, um, uh, oh, I'll give her the watch, uh, Debbie. Make no mistake. She's well, getting when, the watch. When uh, am I going to get a watch? Of, oh, you're getting the watch. I, it's a matter of um, of a small band repair. I'm going to show it to all of you the second that um, that it is repaired. It uh, we're ready. Uh, she should have it very shortly. Yeah, it's a, this is an interesting comment. Do you see uh, Paisley t Turtle? You can see the whites of her eyes all the way around <laughs> the cornea. And if she blinks, her face will fall off her skull. And oddly enough, you can still see the whites of her uh, corneas when she blinks. Uh, very you know, that, that's like a Graves disease look. That's like a Paul Giamatti look. I don't have like, I mean, I just can't hold my eyes open for that long anyway. I don't have big old bulging eyes like that. Now, my sister does have big eyes. Uh, and it's probably a good thing that you don't because you've evaluated everything else. Length of teeth, with the finger, right? Um, I was joking about the with the finger. I was I threw it out randomly. Are you now going to trip about that? Because I was I was joking. I was no, I don't have big fat that. fingers. I don't I don't really even have big. What hands. are you saying? What are you saying, Quill? What do you mean, big I'm fat fingers? That, uh... is, there, is there is there something you're saying? What are you getting at? Huh? Because I'm kind of taking that personally now. I'm feeling some um, kind of way. Quibble. Uh, Scoble. Look at my friend, what Ren said. What, what did what your friend Ren say? Uh, Danbury's federal prison. Oh, yeah. You know who else was there? She's um, sleeping with Prince Valium tonight. What <laughs> movie? Beetle, Beetle Guys. That's right. Good old sausage finger Scoville. You know, John Van Guest, very, uh, when you guys started talking about cops, when I was here earlier, he said, Tommy doesn't have enough upper lip sweat, the requisite upper lip sweat to be a cop. And I'll tell you something. I have a feeling John may have either been arrested at some point or at least been around a lot. Do cops have a little upper bit of, lip sweat? There's usually That's a little disgusting. upper. disgusting. Yeah. Okay. Well, it, but gonna have a little upper lip sweat i'm just saying now if you're a cop in the audience don't lie you got some upper lip sweat no what i was gonna say is don't be offended i'm just kidding but no seriously you do sorry hey did they have it lisa Wait, from me... jersey how are you what's that get it together quibble you did know they what? have that see you were lurking because i know why you're laughing you're a wait lurker. a minute no i'm not a lurker, lurker. You're no. a lurker. Do it again. See what happens. That's what I thought. <laughs> hey, did the cops have that in prison? <laughs> did the cops have what in prison? The Lip, upper lip sweaty sweat? mustaches? No, 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 no. The, the, the cops in prison are a different breed. I promise you, they're a completely different breed. Um, Like in a good way, or what does that mean? Uh, yeah. Well, hey, the, Brian the, Bolin. I don't think the uh, they're not cops. They're they're they really aren't. They're not cops. They're a lot closer to the inmates. I'm sorry, they really are. Um, do you ever see the movie Blow? Wanted to see it. Blow? Never saw it. Don I never Johnny saw Depp it. was. I didn't see it either, but I read the book and I know who Johnny Depp played. But the character from the book, uh, George uh, Young. Uh, did the vast majority of his um, prison sentence at uh, Danbury. Uh, that's where he's at now. If he's if he's not, then they just moved him because he's been there forever. But that's where he has done his time. Tommy, read good that. movie. Not not not. You know they made the they made him look really good in the book. Not such a not such a great dude. But that's always the case. Hollywood will take a real low life and uh, and really make him look like a very good person. I'm hoping they take my story and turn it into a movie. You feel me? Mayor Tizer, Mayor Tizer, happy birthday, Mayor. I said happy birthday to you earlier, but you weren't in here. 
Happy birthday to Mayor. Hey, Tommy, read that. Danbury used to just be a woman's facility. That's true. Uh, but I think it is now both men's and women's. Is that true? Yes, there is absolutely a men's and a woman's facility there. Um, I think uh, it sounds like quiver when Tommy says quibble. Uh, I just like it because it sounds like Scoville. Quibble, Scoville. It's like there's a, there's something phonetically that works there. Like um, Liddell and or Liddell and never mind. I was hoping somebody somebody might get the, get the reference. We'll see if it pops up in the uh, in the chat. Carol, I certainly didn't. Uh, you're yeah. welcome, Mayor. Guys, it's it's Mayor Tyser's birthday. I love Mayor. Um, Tommy, are you saying that? Yeah. Well, Ren B, you can go check it. She's my friend and my attorney. I don't know if you knew this, Tommy. Ren B. Mm -hmm. Um, Tommy. Yeah. So out of cops, prison cops, is that what they call right. them? No, they're and inside, uh, inside they're called COs, correctional officers. Oh, They're do CEOs. they carry guns? No, no. If they carry really? a gun, we, we would try to get it from them. And that would be a bad thing. So they can't carry any weapons like that. They carry a, what they carry is um, a body, uh, an earpiece that goes to a microphone. And they can hit a panic button on there that is referred to as the deuces. And if they hit the deuces, then every other cop in the place comes running all at once. And it takes them usually less than about 15 to 20 seconds to show up. And I mean about a hundred of them. So what they have is as a defense is a crap load of friends. Um, they're not, they don't carry weapons, or anything else. When their friends show up, they tend to have an armory with guns if needed. Yeah. When their friends show up, when they hit that panic button, the guys that show up, they bring weapons. Really? Have you uh -huh. ever seen that happen? Oh my God. Yes. I was there for a very long time. I saw that happen a lot. Were you like ever a code involved? blue in the hospital? It happens once a week, sometimes twice a week or three times a week. Ironic, right? Called hitting the deuces. <laughs> Brian, Wendy Brian Brewer. Brown. I'm so sad that you're upset, babe. Um, Tommy, were you ever involved in it? Thank you. Jam jam. Wendy Brewer. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, when they hit the deuces, it's, uh, it's the craziest thing, Reese, because in a unit, you'll have, there are four doors in and out of a unit. There's one that goes into the hallway. There's one that goes into the outer ring. So there's, yeah, there's, there's uh, depending on the unit, there's either three entrance uh, entries into the building or there are four entries into the building. And the cops will come through all of them, right? And they will come through all of them really, really quickly. And they don't come in one at a time. They just pile through. I mean, so if a fist fight breaks out in the day room, even if the fist fight has nothing to do with the cops, when they hit the deuces, you see the hands go up when they hit it within a half a minute, there's probably 85 of them in the unit and they're yelling, get, get in your cells, get in your cells. And usually, so the only people that's right, face down, you know what up hands on the back of your head, spread your legs out as wide as you can get in a, like a spread Eagle. And then you bring your hands to the top of your head and you lay there like that. They swarm the place. It's unbelievable. And if it's really bad, when they do that, they, they bring in flashbangs and they pull hand grenades and throw them in. And the hand grenades don't shoot out anything but rubber, but they go ba bam and they make a really horrific noise. Um, what is that? I mean? don't know what that is. I, I, I've, I've never heard that, uh, that term. Uh, I may know what you're talking about and not know the, what the term for it is. It sounds to me. Um, from what you're describing, is that a setup where one officer can watch like six pods? Because if that's what you're describing, I have been in, I've been in prisons where they build the the pods so that you can't see the people next to you on either side, but there's a cop watching six units, and it's one cop literally, and he's watching it live. But in the feds, they do it a little differently, and what you have is a very very large control room with a crap load of people watching cameras. But inside each unit are 136 uh, inmates and two uh, cops. That's usually how it is. That's it exactly. Yeah, John. Then, yeah, I've, I've been in those units. Um, I don't know that it's a, uh, yeah, I don't know that it's any better or any worse. Uh, that's what it is. No, I've seen it. It's, they, they don't, it's a design. 
institution with inbuilt system of control. That was that was me kind of just pulling the word apart to figure out what that meant. But did you uh, read Renby? She had a question for you. Did you ever read the report on the New York State corrections around 2015 escape? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Um, I didn't know Ben movie made a still or uh, maybe Ben Stiller made a movie about it, but um, <laughs> Ben movie made a still. Don't you start with me out of the car. You don't do License it here. Registration approved insurance. Ma'am, uh, there, there seems to be a, uh, there seems to be a problem with a, <laughs> there's a warrant out for your arrest. Did you forget to pay a, a couple of speeding tickets? Yeah. 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 yeah she's a big girl, sir. <laughs> Um, sorry, every, was, every, uh, every Friday, what? They could look at some in Scientology in their group. Oh, yeah, yeah, Andra. That's a great idea. Um, I'm sorry, Elizabeth. What did you say? No, it's not Elizabeth. What is her first name again? Who? The the woman that you look like. The uh, the scam artist. The I scam don't know. artist that wants to talk like this. You know what we're talking about. It's how we started our conversation today. Um, Elizabeth Holmes. <laughs> yeah, that's what I Tommy said. Apparently, I said, hey, yeah. Elizabeth, and you go, what? What does that mean? Um, Tommy, apparently. Someone's going to... Oh John! John! <laughs> you are about to hear the Bee Gees. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! This week's on the phone. Oh <laughs> That is the Colin show. See, she knows. That's why she's laughing. That's horrible. She knows I am right. I'm, I'm wrong, right? No, you're laughing because I'm right. You're not. That's why you're not offended. It's the oh my god. Oh my god. I don't look like that. What? <laughs> yeah, she's nothing like that. She knows she's not. <laughs> Have you seen those things right in front of the used car places? That's what you did when you heard. It was so much fun. When's your birthday? Um, my birthday? I'm a cancer sign. Mayor. Look, even, look, Lisa from Jersey gets it. Make it make sense. Who knew? I didn't know her name was Make It Make Sense. I honestly thought it was Lisa from Jersey. Like, so I don't know how, but I didn't read the... I was telling this story on the boat this morning, right? Honestly, this was a... I, I, I know you must have been lurking, but I was telling this boat... Uh, I mean, this I wasn't. On the boat this morning. Okay, so... I was talking to a friend of mine and they brought up uh, Lisa, but they didn't bring up Lisa by name. They said, you know, the make it make sense. And I go, I don't have any idea who you're talking about. And they're like, make it make sense. I'm like, I can't, I can't make this. I have, who is this? And they're like, you, you talk to this person it's all Lisa. the time on your channel, Lisa. Yeah. No idea. Right. And, and this doesn't, it doesn't click in my head at all. And then I'm, and when finally I'm like, Oh, Lisa from Jersey. <laughs> Yeah, that cracks me up, right? It, and that when I said, uh, I told Johnny the story, he goes, this happens to me Thank every day. Thank you. Johnny um, says it happens every day where you just read half the name and your brain just blocks out the rest of it. It's, yeah, it's you know, those, uh, <coughs> oh, sorry, what? <clears throat> I, if I wear the fur coat, I can hawk one up in there too. Just go, <clears throat> save that one for later. She's too creepy, you know what I mean? Or the uh, average, average, everyday uh, kind of. I go for a. Uh, the, uh, the little protein <laughs> balls you will be able to buy tomorrow. How's that? It's all the packs. Seriously? Like. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Are you yeah. serious? That's a heart attack. Guess who's going to be your first customer? My child. He's like, we need to go take some money out of my bank account to buy some of those things. That and a pair of uh, uh, Koala, Jordans. The sling blade is slightly different. It's slightly different. It is. It's a little different. It is. It's eh. It's slower. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got a little more of the, I really could go for some of them French fried potatoes. And get, you got more of a, a Southern roll and a, uh, uh, everything. It's not. Yeah. Joe virus one, one's creepier and one you might actually go out on a date with even though oh i would you know, go out on a date with michael keaton any right. day yeah because he's the greatest yes. catch that's come over since uh valentino you know came i over. love michael keaton i have the hots for him we're here for your um, daughter chuck <laughs> <laughs> I love... yes i love daughter, that chuck 
It's the best line in the movie. That is the best line in the movie. Yes. I love yes, that line. Yes, we'll be able to buy them in Northern Ireland. I'm sure we can make that happen. I'm sure um, um, Reese, may, may I request a little song perhaps about a, um, yeah, well, you know. Swing that dick, swing and dick. <laughs> There you go, Mayor. I sing that every time I'm in traffic and a dude with Oakley's and a big truck drives by me. I go, swing that dick, swing it. <laughs> on the dick. bright side, I am never going to drive by you in a, wearing Oakley's and, and in the with a giant truck. truck. No, that's probably wearing not. white Oakley's with blue lenses. Um, when are we going to do another call? Oh, Tampa show? B. That's so cool. Tampa B's entire family watched uh, Beetlejuice on. Uh, I would have loved to have done that. That's I don't adorable. necessarily mean with your whole family, although that might have been fun too. But. Paddle, paddle, are you going to answer Joe Virus or not? What was the question? When are we doing Joe Virus? Um, with any luck, we're going to be doing another call in show this week. Uh, we'll do it. Um, we'll do it very soon, I promise. Nicola, okay. if you are in desperation for help, send an email to uh, tommyscola at gmail.com. For real. Uh, I love uh, that too. If, if, if you don't let me cut this house and make it my own, I will go insane and take you with me. Yeah. I love that. Great. That that character is so fantastic. You know, I don't want to bum anybody out, but the only the only thing about the it's it's hard to separate sometimes, you know, from the art. The father from that film turned out to be a real low life, you know that, right? Chuck? The character yeah, the character Chuck. Chuck turned out to be real bad people. Wait, wait, wait. In real life? Because I love that guy. Don't love him anymore. I loved him in The Devil's Advocate. How about the uh, he played was also Eddie the principal. He was also and, oh, the principal. Bueller. In Bueller, yeah, he's the principal in Ferris Bueller's Day Off, and he has very uh, unhealthy feelings towards children. You're not, lying. Please I wish don't I tell lying. me that. I love him. I wish I were lying. Are you kidding me? Do you think I would like that to be true? If I, no, trust me, the guys. He's had some bad stuff. Uh, You're telling me at the end of that movie when the girl goes, do you want a gummy bear? They've been in my pocket. That, I love that scene. Yeah. Yep, he's in prison, says Casey uh, Mosher. No and effing way. That dude is in prison. Whoa, sandworms. You hate him, right? <laughs> Sorry. I saw it was a great, great suggestion. <laughs> you know, noble savage, well played. <laughs> well, I'm a grad of, graduate of Juilliard. Uh, let's see. <laughs> he gets, he gets, I like it when he gets all serious. And it keeps getting funnier every time I see it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. He's a... Let's see. I, uh, I graduated uh, Juilliard. <laughs> I lived through the Black Plague. Uh, I had no idea you could do Beetlejuice, and I love it so much. You're going to have to do it every time. Well, I could, I could, probably, uh, I could probably work that out. I could probably work Sandworms. Out. You hate them, right? Sandworms. Um, you hate him, right? You've been to Mars? I've been to Mars. Wait, sandworms? <laughs> no, I can't do it. It's a, I can, but I can only do it once. If I do that trick where I just, you know, I can spin yeah, it around, but I spins. probably can't do it a second time. So we're going to work this out maybe on the cruise. Maybe maybe somewhere Hold where there's a lot. on. He's, he's in prison? Brian Bowen, I... did he really only get three years? Are we sure it's him? Oh, I love his character in Bueller. I just threw up in my mouth a little bit. Um, yeah. At this point, you could have a bingo board with older male celebs on it, considering how often we find out someone else is a scumbag. You make a pretty good point, honestly. He's like fun... Jared from Subway. Same kind of case, yeah. Oh, yeah, bad, bad people, bad people, bad people, bad His people. name is yes. Jeff. His name is Jeffrey. Is, was that his real name? He didn't look like a Jeff. No, you know why he didn't look like a Jeff? Because you look like a Chuck. Because that's how you knew him. You know what I mean? We're here for your daughter, Chuck. You, you're never going to get over that. That's one of those things that's going to stick with you forever. You're always going to think of him as Chuck from Beetlejuice. Or Principal, what's his name? I can't remember his name in it. Do you want a gummy worm? They've been in my pocket. They're all warm and squishy. I love, 
Uh, you know, the only honestly, it used to bum me out so bad when you would look down at his leather shoes. I mean, you hated the guy and all that, but in that final scene, how badly those shoes. Rooney, thank you. Well, Rooney, how did I forget that? Brian Bowen, I, I was so thinking God Moody. It really it. was. I was thinking Moody, but it is Rooney. It was Rooney. Ed Rooney. Oh, yeah. Ed, you sounded like Dirty Harry just then. <laughs> I loved her. I loved, her. Goes, I loved her. Asshole. I loved her in plain strains and automobiles. Oh yeah. And she's on what, the phone. What does she do with her hair? No, let me do her. Let yeah. me do her. She's like, mom's going to make the ambrosia. <laughs> <laughs> gobble, gobble. <laughs> oh, I, I love the pen. Well, you can start by wiping that smile off your rosy effing Fuck cheeks. Cheeks. She she goes on he goes on to drop nineteen f bombs in about six seconds, right? Every single thing he says has an f bomb in front of it. I want an effing car. I don't care what kind of effing right. car effing or effing now. tires. He just he keeps going the whole thing. I don't like the. What does she ask me. for? What do do you have your? Do you uh, have your receipt? Yeah, no, something like that. I lost it. Your <laughs> she no. It she goes. Me. She goes. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy, boy. What. what? I am He's one a with those F-bombs, says Brian Bolin. Oh I, you my know God. I he love when she's sitting dude. there with all the time in the world. And she's like, gobble, gobble. She's so hilarious. She keeps going like this. <laughs> she's talking to him. And he's got the tie hanging off the side of his head. He's like, he just ran across the runway. I almost got run over by a plane. And then hit by a car. To go to I a, think to a you're doing lot, class right now. I love it when yeah, she says he, that to what's her name. I think you're doing your next class. And then she walks away and she goes, what a little asshole. <laughs> I love her. I love her. Oh, Ed Rooney is a perv. That sucks. Hey, Mary, Mary uh, we're going to let this slide this time with this late stuff. Where's Mary? But this has got to come to a stop. Okay, you know what? I got to get off this channel. I've got. I Hi, Dylan. I have to you have your own show. show. Right you have oh, a no, show in an hour and a half. Oh, but in my own defense, it's been. If you want to leave, 30... just say you want to leave. Can you see what I'm doing below the camera? Can you? Can you? Uh, in my defense, I only switched to this time uh, thing three days before I went on to uh, my business trip. You may not realize this. One of us has been working. Oh, here we go. The Spornos, again? the Motorheads, the Geeks, Sluts, Bloods, Wastoids, Doobies, Dickheads. They all adore him. They think he's a righteous dude. Righteous dude. Brian Bolin, well played. Um, hold on. What's going on with your leave. business trip and the time change? What, what's your excuse again? Just say you want to leave. I, I used to do live on the fives, right? I used to do live on the fives, which until right, just recently would have meant. Okay, I forgot. So I looked down and I panicked. But what is an acceptable truth, Tampa B, man? What is this thing? There's no such thing as an acceptable truth. Um, an acceptable truth is something that Scientologists use. Uh, it's actually very widely used in Scientology when you are not going to give the whole story, but you are going to give some of the story. So you just say, give them an acceptable truth. A lie. Yeah. Does it have to have some basis in truth to be an acceptable truth? It does. Or can you wholesale make up some... Some no, BS, no, no. Like Doug like and Brenda, my in-laws. The sausage king. Oh my god, I love that scene. Uh, call me so good, damn it. Um, I. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, I can. Nice. I love Cameron. <laughs> nice. I love Cameron. Did you catch uh, that? That was a good. Uh, that was a solid Cameron doing his dad. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. Sorry. Love that. Love that. Love I that. Love, love that. Cameron. I love Cameron. Um, You're not too old and feeble. Make it make sense. Why does it, how did I never see make it make sense? You want to explain that to me? I'm sorry. Why do I slip into Beetlejuice every time I talk about Lisa? Did you notice that? You know why? Because she's always, it's the glasses thing. Because if I take these off, she'll be the first one to, uh, anyway. Make it make sense. I had no idea it was make it make sense. Make it make sense. Make it make sense? Nope. Uh, pull it together. Pull it. 
You know what? Elizabeth, knock it in. Yeah, I love Ferris Bueller. That's one of Huxley's favorite movies. Oh, Johnny Dangerously. Oh, what a great movie. <sighs> My mother did that to me once. Once. What? You never saw Johnny Dangerously? Great mm -hmm. film. Mm -mm. But he keeps saying that throughout the whole thing. My, mo my mother did that to me once. Once. Or whoever. You know, we say someone did that to him once. Just once. Um, Wait a second. What are you None trying to click on? None of that quantum entanglement theory here. Quantum entanglement theory? You got some highbrow audience, man. You know, yeah. we're, we're doing pull my finger jokes over on uh, on Chase the Heat. I come over here. We're talking about quantum entanglement, and uh, it's a thing. It's a thing yeah. over here. I'm doing I'm doing honk. You know, grabbing the junk honk jokes, and yeah, it was an average every day. Uh, do like myself, action. You know, you're you're a highbrow audience over here. That Not is so my favorite thing. We're high society. We're high society. Yeah, yeah definitely, definitely. Um. Tommy, I was going to ask you while you're here. And I you're working with a well, professional here. What? What were you going to do while, while I was here? <laughs> it's hard to drink while you're smiling. You shouldn't do it. It's so hard. It's not hard to do. I can't drink while We've I'm come smiling. for your daughter, Chuck. We've um, come for your daughter, Chuck. Uh, Tommy, while you're here and while I'm going to be over there. Um, Tony's Hooter. I'm sorry. Go ahead. It is actually Tony's Hooter. I don't know if you do. <laughs> How do we have 500 people watching? I don't understand. I mean, I just, we're not even accomplished. Listen. The better question is why are five people watching? <laughs> why yeah, is that's, that what, I, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. How do we have all these zeros? <laughs> Tommy. Yeah. Uh, where are we going to go? Are we going to ever travel? Are we going to do anything or? I think we're traveling um, shortly to go to where I just came back from. I think that, uh, uh, I think that uh, we're going to be going to the East Coast here very shortly to where I just came from. Oh, really? There's other, yeah, there's other business that needs to be done. Uh, Crystal Dax says, come to Vegas. Uh, you That's also my stepdaughter. To... I'm sorry, what? We're the same That's age. Your... You're, you and your stepdaughter are the same age? Exactly. Your... Well, I'm two months oh, older. Oh, there's, a, there's a, a porn thing about that, I promise. Uh, I don't know if you're aware of this, but there's a very funny family guy where, uh, Brian, yes, Brian, so, what? where, uh, where the, the, uh, the boy, I can't remember what the kid's name is, but the blonde kid, uh, he ends up making a little porn, uh, class at, but they're talking about maximizing the algorithm. And he goes, yeah, you put step in there, step out or step anything step. But, uh, yeah, if you, you and your step, um, daughter are the same age i promise there's something filthy somewhere on porn hub around that rule number 34 we are the same age we are classy when discussing spankings and you scared me when you yelled my name i get it tony Suter, but it is tony Suter. gene wally productions that has a nice ring to it gene wally productions i didn't i don't know that i screamed the, uh, did i scream the name i guess i might have i apologize that that, that sounded bad but i got so um, excited when i saw it so I don't know. I honestly, oh, Tony Suter. Yeah. Tony Suter. Uh, that is the correct way of saying it, by the way. I just want to point that out again. Uh, Tommy, also, I've been getting a lot of requests for me to go to Tucson, and I believe that's where you live. I think you should. Can I get a witness? I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, that is where I live. We have okay. a great burger here called the, uh, the Tommy Scovo burger. And if you don't come here for any other reason than to crush one of the greatest, I know you're not a fan of, but I'm sure I could get it made with a uh, non beef patty. Cause what yeah, makes was... it hot, fortunately for you has nothing. Bye to mayor. Do happy, birthday. happy birthday. No, I love to heat. Happy birthday to you. Happy I birthday. love heat. Sorry. You're a I fan love of heat? heat. Heat. Yes. I like heat, but I don't do the meat. So can we switch from the heat to a veggie burger? Yeah, I don't see why that would be a problem, especially because um, Don Glove says, I will drive to Tucson to see you both. I love that. Um, yeah, there, guys, the reason I'm bringing up Tucson is there have been quite a few people 
asking me to go to Tucson. See, and we've Karen been talking McAllister about says, it. if you go to Tucson, I'm a few hours away. Um, Juicy Lucy, I have had Juicy Lucy. Look, how, look at how many people here are close enough that they're telling me what restaurants to go to. I wish I could go with you guys on the cruise. Uh, you know what? There'll be uh, there'll be other cruises. There'll be other. Uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to walk across the United States. <laughs> like Forrest Gump, don't trip. I'm going to see everybody. <laughs> I feel weird about that. I don't know if you're being I, serious. I, I said that just to push uh, Reese's buttons because when I said that, she looked at me like, uh, you know, I was the. Uh, you don't remember this? This is one of the funniest moments. I should make a short out of it. I might. When I when I did my I want to walk across the country like uh, Forrest Gump thing, she uh, she wasn't. What's the other I'm looking for? Enthused. I don't love the idea of that. It's going to take. I live in Mesa, Mexico. Arizona. Says Brianna Miller. There you go. I'd love to go to Chattanooga. My parents are in Nashville. It's not that long of a drive, and I love hey, Chattanooga. Hey, I'd like to have a house in Chattanooga. Um, hey, look, you know what? This is like the fourth place you've said that you own a house. You're, you're starting to really be a high maintenance. Uh, I'm not sure that we, this is going to work out. You know what I'm saying? Two, I was I was w quite willing to get you homes, maybe a couple of coasts, whatever, you know, you know um, so that these, you didn't have to deal with winter or whatever. But I think you're up to like six places you now just, that you Okay, you've, so you've, is it six or is it four? Because now you're just fiddle faddle. No, no, I was, I was... Do you know? Do you know that fiddle faddle comes in several other flavors? Did you know this? If you add, if you add almonds to fiddle faddle, it becomes screaming yellow zonkers. Did you know this? I've never had fiddle faddle in my life. You've not had fiddle faddle. No, it's from the forties. They don't make it anymore. It was when Fred was yeah, born. Yeah, no, they did. They make fiddle faddle. I, I bought fiddle faddle in the last six months. No. Somebody Google this, and what are you willing to bet on it? Quibble. Huh? Um, actually, I'm not going to bet anything because I think we bet on something the other day that you lost on and still haven't. No, oh, I still no, haven't been able no, to cash no, in. no, no, no. Let me tell. I'm going to tell everybody here what we bet on. Oh yeah. What was it? Oh, yeah. So I have a photo. You people may or may not have seen it, and I said to um, Reese, I have this photo of me where I am in a uh, sitting in a police car. It may be the first arrest, honestly, of my life. I'm not 100% sure. I think it's the first arrest, but there's actually a picture of me in the police car getting arrested. And uh, Quibble says, oh yeah, no, I've heard this story. And I said, I don't think you've heard this story. And she said, yeah, you sent me the picture. I said, send me back a screenshot of this picture. And she said, I'll do it. It'll be done in five minutes. Have you sent me back that picture of the screenshot there, Quibble? What no, if I did? Not. I might have. Uh, Yes, they do make fiddle faddle good stuff. Thank you, Miss Sunrise Dom. They sure do. And they also still make Screaming Yellow Zonkers and um, Poppycock. What the hell? That's the third is, one. What did you just call me? Poppycock. You heard me. Poppycock. Okay, that's below the belt, and you just demonetized my ass. <laughs> First of all, um, no one would ever demonetize. Go ahead. I'm pretty sure we've made other bets that I haven't cashed in on because you didn't pay out i think you're wrong uh are you meeting me on my uh on my channel at, yeah uh, you can go you can go i'll go too to because a thumbnail. i have to make a thumbnail it's, cracker you're jacks so is good weird. he literally will have like an hour and a half and he'll be like oh okay i gotta get going i gotta get ready for my next show how long does a thumbnail take scoville there's i'm not trying to sound like mother Teresa, right but sure, I do not. more than just thumbnails. There oh, are, do you really? Uh, yes. There are a couple of, uh, yeah, there are some people that um, I got, when I just looked down, I'm never being rude. I got a, uh, I got an email and that, uh, that some of them going to reach out to and make some uh, suggestions about where they're at right now. Cause they're going to put on place. your cop uniform. No, that's tonight. Right now I'm going to put on my, uh, my counselor uniform, I guess. But I'm gonna okay. put on my cop one tonight, and I'm bringing the uh, I'm bringing handcuffs. In fact, there's some around there. Do, you, around oh, the, do um, you want me to come still because you were already here? See this? What did I tell you? What did I tell you? She's doing it I'm again. Actually, yeah, being I'd, serious. I would. Yeah, I'd like you to come on the boat. I think that might be nice. How long my, does a uh, thumbnail my, take? Asked a woman who doesn't know how to make a thumbnail. For me, about an hour and forty-five minutes. So sure we're cutting it, it close, but I think I might be able to pull it off. 
All right, people, I will see you on the next one. And this makes Reese really happy. And I only do this when I'm going to somebody else's. I don't normally do this on my own. But if I'm leaving and I'm leaving the audience behind, I do it like this. So we'll see you all. Hold on. And this is a Aww, cat in the basket. Oh, she's so cute. Bye. <laughs> she's always the cat in the basket. See ya. Okay. Guys, speaking of cats and then I'm going to go, look at how cute this is. Look at how cute. Okay, Tommy, what is taking so long for you to go away? Look at this cute picture. And then I'm going to go. Look at how cute Huxley was tonight with, with our cat. Is that so cute? That is so cute. I've never had fiddle battle. All right, I'm going to go because it's been a couple hours. And then here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go on in one hour and eight minutes onto Scoville's channel. And he is adorable. I have never seen his Beetlejuice impression, and it is top notch. Tommy is good. So good. Yeah, Wendy Brewer. Um, I know, kid is so cute, you guys. Uh, so I'm going to hop off, and then in an hour, I'm going to hop back on. And um, I love you guys. Okay, here comes Fred. I know. So cute. So cute guys. Thank you for chatting with me tonight. I really didn't have much of a topic. Sorry. Sometimes we just go all over the place. I know we do that all the time, but tonight I really didn't have a topic. I just wanted to see everybody wanted to check in, tell mayor, happy birthday, tell Keela, happy birthday, John, love you. I love you guys. And, um, I know so cute. Tony Suter. Uh, I will be on in an hour at Tommy's channel. So come on over the lifeboat. Here comes Fred and I will be back tomorrow. I promise. What is tomorrow? I'm, I'm getting my teeth cleaned in the morning. I'll be on in the afternoon. All right, here comes Fred, guys. Love you all.